Hey, what's going on? Just excited to support you, Dub. Just shock warrior three ones checking in again after uploading that video from Soho yesterday. You know, your boy went to the mall, got a pickup, typical G Dub material. But um, let's get right into it. Um, this is the GR eighty nine hundred NV two. Module number 3269. 3269. This is part of the Navy Blue Military Series that I told you I was going to pick up. I did say I was going to get the 7900. I lied. Um, I went to the mall today and I saw this and I was not going to pick it up because I was going to get the 7900. But my brother talked me out of it. He said this looked better. Um, posted it up on my Facebook and everybody said this looks better. Except Prince. Prince still thinks the 7900 looks better than the 8900. So I'm sorry, dude, but um, people spoke. And we went with the 8900. This was, um, it's really nice. It's a soft, waxy microfiber it came wrapped in. I'm really surprised, surprised about that. Really nice, though. I use it to clean it and touch it up once in a while. Show you guys a tag before I take it out of the tin. Um, Casio, of course. GR8900 MV2. MV, of course, Navy Blue Series 2. Of course, it's blue. Um, both the 79 and the 89 and then... NV2 3269 module and retails 140. Casio G Shock, as you can see. I actually just got the notification from Soho that they have these for retail too. So, um, unfortunately, I was not going to make a trip all the way to Soho to pick this up. If I could just find it in my local mall, found it at Boss Cops. Um, module number 3269, of course. Um, it is Tough Solar, which is why it retails for 140, not less. Um, there's a lot of accents on this watch. Um, let me see if I hit the light, if it looks any better. Ah, look at this. Yes. Yes. All right, let me turn off the light first so I can show you the backlight. <clears throat> 8900s have dual LED backlights, um, just like the GD100. You can see one in that corner right there. You can see the other one in that corner right there. Nice blue backlight. Really, really subtle. It's more subtle in person, but it does look really, really nice on camera, which is good to know. But um, let's get back to the light so I can show you guys the details on this piece. There it is. Really, really, really sick watch, isn't it? With the black and the gold accents. Um, let's go into that watch veteran segment where I don't talk. Just let you have a close-up with the piece. And then before I get more into it, um, detailed-wise, because it is the first 8900, obviously not the last one that I'll get because the DGK is soon to arrive. But yeah, um, let's go into that segment. Um, let the camera focus, and here we go. All right, <clears throat> that's what I like to call the watch vet segment. And um, yeah, let's get into the details of the watch. Matte navy blue finish, really, really not your typical navy blue though. This is a nice, um, <clears throat> I don't even know. It's like a denim navy blue. Has a nice, nice hint to it. Um, you see the black buttons on both sides. Black button with the gray G. You see it's not your regular G button though. It does have some detail to it. Um, I see the dots. That's familiar to the um, XL series. Two holes on each segment all the way down. And then on the upside too. 
um, regular matte navy blue keeper just to match the band and then you have your um, not gloss I mean not metallic but brushed finish buckle as you can see um, let's get to the face and the bezel you see the um, great writing you got mode adjust reverse forward <clears throat> you got um, black uh, trim around the face negative display you got the eye up here in the right, upper left hand corner. Um, the eye shows the seconds and ones up to 10 as you can see. And then there's two smaller, um, if you want to call them eyes. This one, the one right here, should, um, if it's on, which is on right now, it shows you that the PS, as you can see right there, it says PS. The power saver mode is on. That means if after um, a certain amount of time, if half an hour of time go by and light has not hit this watch it will shut down just to, to save energy and then in the upper up up here is the um the auto el auto illuminator if it's on then that means when you tilt the watch towards you the light goes on by itself but that's not set so because <clears throat> that wastes batteries and then you have the day of the week thursday and then the date 117 right under it as you can see you got um Illuminator written across the bottom. This right here, the H under the 42 displays the um the battery. If it's high right now, as you can see the H, it'd be in medium to the left and then low to the left after that. <sighs> Sorry, there was something on the face. But um yeah, hold on. There you go. But um yeah, um, Casio right at the top, tough solo right under. Like I said, um, you can see the the markers right there under the day of the, the where it says one seventeen. I got the hourly signal on. Next to that is the mute. As you can see, the mute is off. And next to that is any alarm and any snooze is before that. I have neither on. I don't use snooze or alarms on my phone. On my <clears throat> wow, I almost said my phones, <laughs> but I don't use it either on my watches. I only use the um, hourly time signal. Military time, of course, that's how I keep my watches. We're going to go through the mode because this is the first 8900 I do. But first mode is world time. I have it set to Lisbon. Obviously, that's where Miguel Ayako's from. But, of course, he's here for the Ayako Goes um, America Tour. I'm waiting on my tea and crew neck. I'll show you guys that when I get it, of course, obviously. But um, it's 1243 in Lisbon. And then you have alarm, stopwatch, timer, and then back to world time. I mean home time obviously um it's really nice it run, it's like an 8900 really except it has led instead of lcd and it has real time so it's not like a typical 80, 6900 really really nice watch it sits beautifully on the wrist it's a little bigger than 6900s um i love the navy blue series it really has i have a soft spot for them both the 89 and the 7900 um <clears throat> they didn't make a 6900 because if you remember the hm2 which is a navy blue with the black inside kind of resembles this color scheme so it'd be kind of dumb for them to make a 6900 but really really nice matte blue all the way down showed you guys the back obviously g-shock shock resist really really nice pieces really grow on me um beautiful beautiful watch tough solar so solar power you don't have to worry about changing the battery just let it charge once in a while um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. Mike was surprised that I picked up an 8900, but, you know, got to think outside the box once in a while, pick up different pieces. Um, but, yeah, shout-out to everybody in that thing of ours. Shout-out to the TCF. Shout-out to, um, you know, of course, the usual uh, people I don't really shout-out. Brian Spindler, Michael Myers, um, everybody in G-Shot Philippines, Star Remix. Um, and then your usuals, you got like Tycho, Danny, Mike, Prince, <clears throat> Adrian, Monty, that dude, um, S. Dot, Chavo, Master, Chris, everybody, man, everybody doing something in this movement. You know, I gotta keep pushing forward. We might do a Behind the G series, where it's pretty much this 15, 20 minute documentary of ourselves, so you get to know the person behind the watches, not just the watches, not just the Gs, see who we actually are before behind us. Behind the camera, G Shock and Blatant in Black, Protection Witten in Black. Like I said, beautiful, beautiful watch, man. Beautiful series. This is a really, really nice piece. 
It's amazing. I don't know. I might consider getting the 7900 too, but I doubt it. But yeah, like I told you, I picked up everything I told you I was going to get. I'm waiting on the bear break. Oh, Johnny, you need to relax, dude. <laughs> like, I know you're excited on that piece, and I'm pretty sure I'll get my hands on it. But you got to wait it out. Soho won't get it till, um they say, March. So for now, we're waiting on the initial blue. We're waiting on the polarized 6900 series. We're waiting on the... um. What else are we waiting on? Uh, polarized initial blue DGK, of course. And when I get them, y'all know y'all have your reviews. Um, in case y'all wonder what's on the wrist. Um, oh, I wasn't supposed to show you that. <laughs> That's G-Dubs, first custom. But we'll get into that some other time. <laughs> Maybe a video later on, if y'all good. All right, it's your boy G-Dub. Checking out, shock the world, one G-Shock at a time. This is the GR8900 NV. Two, all right. I'm checking out. Holla at me. Peace. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them.